My girl and me know that our love will last forever. My girl and me know that we two belong together. But sometimes it seems I shatter our dreams with some careless word or foolish lie. Me and my girl. Scared of you, whoever you are. I'm from Partick, me, <laughs> and I've got a brush. I, uh, and I've rung the police. Oh, the place is swarming with bobbies. You can't get away. So come on, out. Well, come and give me a hand. Oh, Sam, it's you. Doing up here? Oh, I found this box full of Dad's old stuff. Come and have a look. Oh, by the way, I was fibbing about the police. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this. <laughs> it's his old school rugby team. So it is. Who's the skinny one on the left? <laughs> That's Dad. <laughs> it's a fine picture, so it is. Look at all them naked thighs. <laughs> They look grand, don't they? Isabel? In their wee shorts. Yeah, all right, Isabel. Put it down. Now, what's this? That? Oh, that's a projector. They had them in the olden days, before videos. See, your film goes in up here, and down here, round here, in here, through there, down here. And you know fine well what it is. <laughs> we had one in junior school. Hey, look at this. I didn't know Dad could play one of these. Me neither. If we took it downstairs, he might like to play it for us. Aye. No, we'll put it back and say nothing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we should be doing this. These are your father's private things. But that's what makes it fun. Hey, Isabel, what's this? Good grief. <laughs> Isabel? <laughs> Gawping at Dad's thighs and look at this. Your eyelids are growing heavy. Your eyes are closing. You are going to sleep. Sleep. Now, raise your right arm. Lower it. Oh, great! You are under my total control. Is this going to take long, Miss? <laughs> oh, Mrs. Cresset. Sorry, Liz. I'm just not the right type for hypnosis. Right, you're too aggressive. <laughs> aggressive? I'm not aggressive. How dare you say I'm aggressive? Sorry, sorry. Um, I mean, you're too strong a character. Oh, I'm not really a strong character either. It's just that everybody else is so wet. It's a shame. I wanted to give you um, a post-hypnotic suggestion. And what prayer is that? Well, you can sort of fix someone so they look right as rain. Only when they hear a special word, say egg, that like a chicken. <laughs> and lay one. No, just like about the place. But you've got to have the right subject. I need someone weak, indecisive, easily led. <laughs> Cometh the hour, cometh the man. <laughs> What's so special about it? It's an old home movie. Look, 
The Picnic Party, 1969. Directed and produced by Muriel Yates. Well, that's Auntie Muriel. So? Well, if Auntie Muriel filmed it, then it's probably got Uncle Derek in it. So? Well, if Uncle Derek's in it, then it's probably got Dad in it. So? Well, if Dad's in it, in 1969... Oh, my goodness. Then she'll be in it. Oh, my goodness. My mum, Ruth. Well, she didn't die until 1971. Blimey. This was filmed a year before I was born. She'll be in it, walking about, as if she was still alive. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Isabel, isn't it wonderful? I. Oh, Isabel, don't cry. It is wonderful. Yes, Samantha, it is. Well, don't just sit there. Go and get the projector. What? Well, you're the expert. You know how the film comes down and round and in and through. We'll get it going. Watch the film. Oh, no. No. What do you mean? No, no. I will not. I won't. Not until your father says it's OK. But is he? No. And that's final. Isabel, sometimes you can be so... Scottish. <laughs> Absolutely not. No way of saying no. Oh, but Mr. Yates... Oh, let myself be hypnotised by you two. What sort of a fool do you think I am? I'm not sure. <laughs> what sort of a fool do we think he is, Liz? Well... Anyway, I'd be no good. I'm too strong, got too much willpower. <laughs> True. Right. In my experience, Liz, Derek will do anything, anything that Muriel tells him to. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, shouldn't you two be doing some work? Yes, but there isn't any work to do. Ah, uh, soon will be. Simon's bringing that chap back from the confectionery company after lunch. When we get that contract... Oh, yes, is he the one we're supposed to be nice to? Now, it would help if you were nice to everyone, but... Uh, <laughs> yes, apparently he is a bit sticky. He's a Baptist. Hallelujah! Lord, have mercy! <laughs> Good. God, no, not that sort of Baptist. He's the lettuce sandwiches for Sunday teas on a Baptist. No, look, I do have some work to do. Well, Mrs. Cresset, why don't you see if you can hypnotise me? See if you can make me be a chicken when I hear the word egg. Yes, all right. Why not? Now, look into my eyes. Your eyelids are getting heavy. You're going to sleep. Drifting away, here comes the Sandman. <laughs> sleep, sleep. Liz, are you asleep? Nope. Oh. <laughs> I can't do it either. No, I haven't got time now, Isabel. I've got to pick up a Baptist. Oh, then you'll need all your strength. Isabel. <laughs> well, anyway, you must eat. Think of your thighs. <laughs> oh, Dad, can I talk to you about something? Uh, not now, Sam. I'm in a rush. Oh, OK, then. Doesn't matter. All right, then, quickly. Come on, what is it? I found this today. That? This. Hmm? What's that? This. <clears throat> Sam. These are very personal things. Well, I'm a person. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Dad. I was just looking. Oh, well, that's all right. Well, can I, um... Can you what? Can I watch it? No. I mean, we've got a projector. No. Why not? Sam, no. I'm sorry. Look, it's just an old home movie. It's nothing special. Is my mum in it? Oh, yes, but, uh... Nothing special? My mum? Well, I can't discuss it now. I've got to go. All right, all right. Sam? Yeah? Thank you. Here, is Mr Yates OK? I think so. Yes, but will he be all right? Oh, yes. Yes, I'm sure he will. <laughs> Very pleased to meet you, sir. No, this is more like it. You're the sort of man I can relate to, Mr Yates. Mature, solid, sensible, older. <laughs> yes, young Harrop, I think we can safely say the contract is yours. Oh, well, that's very nice. Oh, thank you. Thank indeed, you very Mr. much Knight. indeed. Just in time for the Easter campaign, too. Easter? Of 
course. We are a confectionery company, after all. Yeah, so it's all go for Easter. I don't... Uh, Derek, see. Derek, yeah. what do we get at Easter? Bunnies, bonnets. <laughs> eggs, man. Easter eggs. <laughs> Is there anything else I can tell you, Mr. Knight? Yes. Is there another way out of this place? <laughs> Son, I didn't do that. Surely I didn't. No, surely not. Surely I didn't. You did. Uh, a chicken? A broody old boiler, yes. <laughs> And as for you two, I'm deeply disappointed. Oh, dear, oh, dear. We're very sorry, Mr. Harrow. Of all the stupid, juvenile, irresponsible... I beg your pardon? Yes, it was. And we're very sorry. Aren't we, Mrs. Cresset? <laughs> sorry? There. She's sorry, too. <laughs> I didn't really, did I? <laughs> Derek, I'll tell you exactly how you went. You went... <laughs> should stop digging your elbow into me. <laughs> but will you stop dropping me in it? Well, I'm not going to let him talk to me like that. Oh, yes, you are. Listen, I've been in trouble before, and there's only one way to get out of it. What? Grovel. <laughs> As I was saying, because of you two, we've lost the contract. And at this moment in time, I'd be very happy to lose both of you. We're very sorry, Mr. Harrop, aren't we, Mrs. Cresson? Yes, we really are very... Sorry. <laughs> well, that's all right, then. Simon, I didn't really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Liz, you pass me the dictaphone mic, please, and turn the thing on. Derek? Mm-hmm. Eggs. Mr. Harrop. Oh, yeah, wonderful. My secretary's turned into a giggling schoolgirl. My mother-in-law's turned into a Svengali. My business partner appears to be a Rhode Island Red. <laughs> Dear me, never mind, eh? <laughs> now my housekeeper's turned into a screaming hysteric. Oh, oh, no, I'm all right, Mr. Harrop. I'm happy and contented. And I don't want to ask you about anything. It's the film, isn't it? Pardon me? The thing you're afraid to ask me. It's Sam and that old piece of home movie. Hi. Isabel, the reason I don't think Sam should see that bit of film is that I think it could be quite upsetting. Disturbing. I mean, it won't bring her mother back. And, uh, well, to see her as she was, I, well, I, I think it could be upsetting. I bet if she does get upset, you'll be there with her, right? Yes. And if you get upset, she'll be there with you, no, so... just, just a minute, just a minute. Look, it's an old home movie. It doesn't upset me. I've seen it many times, often. Oh, I... Uh, Mr. Harrop, but when was this house rewired? Uh, about ten years ago. Well, ten years ago, at least. Why? That projector's got a round pin plug on it. Well done, Sherlock. Well, I'd better get a 13-amp plug for the... Projector. <laughs> no need to do that, Mr. Harrop. I did that this afternoon. <laughs> I'll go and get Sam. Do you think it's worn off yet? How should I know? You're the first person I've done it to. Well, I can't go home to Mural until it has worn off. It is Tuesday, you know. What's so special about Tuesday? It's boiled egg. egg eggies with soldiers for tea. <laughs> oh, of course, Tuesday. 
She'll say, how do you like your egg, dear? And I'll start pecking the pattern off the Marley tiles. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out if it's worn off. No, don't, don't, don't say Eggs. Eggs, Derek. Eggs, 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 eggs. Oh, God. <laughs> well, am I behaving like a chicken? I don't think so. <laughs> right. Good. Now then, now that I'm no longer in your power, Nell, I wish to say something. Well, go on then. Say it. And do stop looking as though you just swallowed a frozen fish finger. Well, it's just that... You wish to say that what I did was stupid and juvenile. Yes. That's what Simon said. Furthermore, you wish to say it was irresponsible. Yes. Simon said that too. Furthermore, you wish to say I was wrong to take advantage of the fact that you have a, a brain resembling a wet paper hanky. Yes. <laughs> Did Simon say that? No, but he should have. Now, look here, Nell. No, Derek. You've had your say, and so has Simon. I haven't finished yet. Derek. I don't care, Nell. I am going to tell you. This sort of thing must never happen again. I do hope you understand that. Never, ever, ever. Derek, I warned you. Oh, my God. <laughs> now it's my turn, Derek, my lad. Help! Derek, look at me, Derek. Your eyes are getting heavy. <laughs> You're going to sleep, sleep, sleep. <laughs> Mr. Harrop, has Mr. Yates arrived yet? No, and I'm not expecting him either. I know, but Mrs. Cresset has done him again. He's got another compulsion and he's going to... Oh, well, you're not going to like this, Mr. Harrop. Oh, God, what's he going to do now, then? Simon, I'm going to kiss you. <laughs> I told you you wouldn't like it. Uncle Derek, you don't really want to kiss Dad. Of course I don't want to kiss him. Who would want to kiss him? But I've got to kiss him, so I'm going to kiss him. Come here, Simon. <laughs> Well, well, what are we going to do with him? Well, to be honest, I think you'd better let him kiss you. I'll get Nell Crescent for this. I swear it, I'll get him. Hold still, Dad. Here comes lover boy. <laughs> hey, that was horrible. Then why did you do it? Yes, why did I do it? I'll tell you why you did it. You did it because you're a... Never mind. At least he's a never mind with good taste. And it's all over now. No, it's not. Oh, God, what's he going to do to me now? Not to you. I've got to go. Good, where? I've got to go home. Uh-huh, and tell them what you're going to do when you get there. I'm going to take Muriel, put her over my knee and give her a jolly good spanking. Goodbye. <laughs> go with him. See if I can warn Muriel. I'll come with you. Oh, I do hope they manage to stop him. Yeah. Especially if he puts Auntie Muriel over his knee and... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dad. Mm -hmm. If you really don't want me to see this, I, I don't mind. What? After spending all afternoon setting up the projector, no, you must see it. It's your right. And it is right. 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 You're not nervous, are you? Of course not. Well, I am. Yeah, me too. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> hey, don't laugh. That's how Spielberg started. <laughs> Those are Doc Martins. Actually, they're Muriels. I know, she still wears them. Oh, what a funny old fashioned car. Mm. And what a funny old fashioned driver. Hmm? It's Uncle Derek! <laughs> Whoops! Oh, look at that jacket. And the shirt. Uh, Has he spilt something down it? No, it's meant to be like that. Hi there, fans. <laughs> oh, is that it? What? No, no, no. Uh, this is what they call an uh, atmosphere. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, here's another atmosphere. <gasps> it's grand. Mm. Oh, she hasn't changed a bit. Neither is Stonehenge. <laughs> <laughs> An apple? Huh? Is that the entire picnic? No, no, there's, there's more. Oh, here it is. <laughs> but why do I have to do all the work? <laughs> yes, why? Where are you? <laughs> Shut up. He's wearing beads. He really is. Look, will you shut up? Otherwise, I'll play the accordion. Ducks again. Look, Mum is in this, isn't she? Huh? Yeah, yeah, she, she was a bit late. She had to uh, go for an appointment. Ah. Well, there she is, Sam. There's your mum. Daddy. 
isn't she smashing? Yeah, she's smashing. She's lovely. Oh no, is that it? No, there's there's a bit more. More more ducks. More ducks. <laughs> ah. Here the camera discovers the innocent picnic party. <laughs> Uh, oh, look at this. Round we go. Oh, oh that's very Zeffirelli, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> Looks a bit boozy to me. Mm? Yeah, well, well. Ah, now we have an easy lesson on how to eat a banana. <laughs> <laughs> Smile, Uncle Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Derek Yates, your absolutely disgusting pig. Oh, ducks again. Auntie Muriel likes ducks, doesn't she? Yes, well, Hitchcock had birds, Muriel Yates had ducks. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, the uh, director ran out of film. Oh, well. It was lovely anyway. Mum looks so happy. I hope she was happy. Yes, I believe she was. You too. Mm. You both look so happy. Yes, we, we were both happy. Uh, especially that day. Why especially that day? Well, you know, I told you she was late because she had an appointment. Yeah? Mm. Well, she'd just come from the doctor's. And, well, that was the first day we knew for sure, weren't you? Hmm? My God. We know that we two belong together. Sometimes it seems I shine. All our dreams with some careless word of foolish lie. Me and my girl, we've got each other. Whatever life may send us. Me and my girl, we've got each other. However life may bend us. Sure, we'll see tears fall. Love never lost. Under my total control. Is this going to take long? Is my <laughs> Oh, Mrs. Cresset. Sorry, Liz. I'm just not the right type for hypnosis. Right, you're too aggressive. <laughs> aggressive? I'm not aggressive. How dare you say I'm aggressive? Sorry, sorry. Um, I mean you're too strong a character. Oh, I'm not really a strong character either. It's just that everybody else is so wet. It's a shame. I wanted to give you um, a post-hypnotic suggestion. And what prayer is that? Well, you can sort of fix someone so they look right as rain, only when they hear a special word, say, egg, that like a chicken. <laughs> and lay one. No, just like about the place. But you've got to have the right subject. I need someone weak, indecisive, easily led. <laughs> Cometh the hour, cometh the man. <laughs> What's so special about her? Well, it's an old home movie. Look, The Picnic Party, 1969. Directed and produced by Muriel Yates. Well, that's Auntie Muriel. So? Well, if Auntie Muriel filmed it, then it's probably got Uncle Derek in it. So? Well, if Uncle Derek's in it, then it's probably got Dad in it. So? Well, if Dad's in it, in 1969... 
Oh, my goodness. Then she'll be in it. Oh, my goodness. My mum, Ruth. Well, she didn't die until 1971. Blimey. This was filmed a year before I was born. She'll be in it, walking about, as if she was still alive. Why not? Now, look into my eyes. Your eyelids are getting heavy. You're going to sleep. Drifting away. Here comes the Sandman. Sleep. Sleep. Liz, are you asleep? Nope. Oh. <laughs> I can't do it either. No, I haven't got time now, Isabel. I've got to pick up a Baptist. Oh, then you'll need all your strength. Isabel. <laughs> well, anyway, you must eat. Think of your thighs. <laughs> oh, Dad, can I talk to you about something? Uh, not now, Sam. I'm in a rush. Oh, OK, then. Doesn't matter. All right, then, quickly. Come on, what is it? I found this today. That? This. Hmm? What's that? This. <clears throat> Sam. These are very personal things. Well, I'm a person. <laughs> ha ha. I'm sorry, Dad. I was just looking. Oh, well, that's all right. Well, can I, um... Can you what? Can I watch it? No. I mean, we've got a projector. No. Why not? Sam, no. I'm sorry. Look, it's just an old home movie. It's nothing special. Is my mum in it? Huh? Yes, but, uh... Nothing special? My mum? Well, I can't discuss it now. I've got to go. All right, all right. Sam? Yeah? Thank you. I found this box full of Dad's old stuff. Come and have a look. Oh, yeah, by the way, I was fibbing about the police. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this. <laughs> it's his old school rugby team. So it is. Who's the skinny one on the left? <laughs> That's Dad. <laughs> it's a fine picture, so it is. Look at all their naked thighs. Hey, Isabel, what's this? They look grand, don't they? Isabel? In their wee shorts. Yeah, all right, Isabel. Put it down. Now, what's this? That? Oh, that's a projector. They had them in the olden days, before videos. See, your film goes in up here and down here, round here, in here, through there, down here. And you know fine well what it is. <laughs> we had one in junior school. Hey, look at this. I didn't know Dad could play one of these. Me neither. If we took it downstairs, he might like to play it for us. Aye. No, we'll put it back and say nothing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we should be doing this. These are your father's private things. That's what makes it fun. Hey, Isabel, what's this? Good grief. <laughs> Isabel? <laughs> Stop gawping at Dad's thighs and look at this. Your eyelids are growing heavy. Your eyes are closing. You are going to sleep. Sleep. Now, raise your right arm. <laughs> Lower it. Oh, great! Five. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Isabel, isn't it wonderful? I. Oh, Isabel, don't cry. It is wonderful. Yes, Samantha, it is. Well, don't just sit there. Go and get the projector. What? Well, you're the expert. You know how the film comes down and round and in and through. Well, get it going. Watch the film. Oh, no. No! What do you mean? No, no. I will not. I won't. Not until your father says it's OK. But is he? No. And that's final. Isabel, sometimes you can be so... Scottish. <laughs> no, absolutely not. No way of saying no. Oh, but Mr Yates... Oh, let myself be hypnotised by you two. What sort of a fool do you think I am? 
I'm not sure. <laughs> what sort of a fool do we think he is, Liz? Well... Anyway, I'd be no good. I'm too strong, got too much willpower. <laughs> True. Right. In my experience, Liz, Derek will do anything, anything that Muriel tells him to. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, shouldn't you two be doing some work? Yes, but there isn't any work to do. Ah, uh, soon will be. Simon's bringing that chap back from the confectionery company after lunch. When we get that contract... Oh, yes, is he the one we're supposed to be nice to? Now, it would help if you were nice to everyone, but... Uh, <laughs> yes, apparently he is a bit sticky. He's a Baptist. Hallelujah! Lord, have mercy! <laughs> Good God, no, not that sort of Baptist. He's the lettuce sandwiches for Sunday tea sort of Baptist. No, look, I do have some work to do. Well, Mrs. Cresset, why don't you see if you can hypnotise me? See if you can make me be a chicken when I hear the word egg. Yes, yeah, all right. My girl and me know that our love will last forever. My girl and me know that we two belong together. But sometimes it seems I shatter our dreams. With some careless word or foolish lie Me and my girl, we've got each other Whatever life may send us Me and my girl, we've got each other However life may bend us Sure we'll see tears fall Love never was all rainbow scared of you, whoever you are. I'm from Partick, me. <laughs> and I've got a brush, I, uh, and I've rung the police. Oh, the place is swarming with bobbies. You can't get away. So come on, out. <laughs> well, 